Hello, my dear students, and welcome to week one, September 3rd, all the way to September 7th. During this week, we are going to talk about our island, Earth. First of all, we start with September 3rd. We are going to talk about icebreaker, which technically means that you're going to meet your teacher. We're going to talk about and agree about classroom behavior and how things should be. And then the second day, we are also going to the icebreaker, another icebreaker. Technically, we are going to focus about these STEM projects and what is STEM and why it is so important. We are going to start with the actual lesson from your book. Okay, so we're going to start with our island, Earth, pages four to six, and it's going to be in, on September 5th. So, our main objective for this lesson is to explain the focus on, of environmental science. So, technically, the, the focus of environmental science is understanding and protecting the natural world around us. Like, how things work together, how they cooperate together in an environment. We are going to talk about the renewable and non-renewable and also about the human population growth. So technically, the renewable sources like solar and wind energy can be naturally and are sustainable for the long term, which means not non-renewable sources such as fossil fuels are finite and take millions of years to form. So we are going to understand the difference between them and technically revise them because those are basic of science. And then we are going to talk about the human population growth that technically impacts both as more people require more resources and energy. It is important to balance our consumption, promote renewable energy and find sustainable solutions to support a growing population. As you guys know, we have an increased population and we have a decreased population. We are going to understand the difference between them. So some problems with population growth include increased strain on resources such as food and water and increased pressure on infrastructure and ecosystems. It can also lead to overcrowding unemployment and social inequality. Finding sustainable ways to support a growing population is crucial for our lives. Then we are going to talk about two things that Technically, those are part of the problems with population growth. We have ecological footprint and tragedy of the common. So ecological footprint refers to the impact of human activities on the environment, including the consumption of resources and the production of waste. The tragedy of the common is a concept that highlights the depletion or degradation of shared resources when individuals act in their own self-interest without considering the long-term consequences. Both concepts emphasize the need for sustainable practices and collective responsibility to protect our planet. Also, as mentioned earlier, that population growth can lead to overconsumption, habitat destruction, and loss of biodiversity. It can also strain healthcare systems and social and economic uh, inequalities. That technically means that we are addressing these challenges require sustainable development, responsible and reasonable resources management, and equitable distribution of resources. So technically what I'm trying to say that in order to have a good increase or a common increase in growth and population growth, we have to take care of our island earth. So those are the main topics and the main objectives that we are going to be pointing out. We're going to have study cases. We have um, 
we have we are going to have research and so on so i really can't wait to meet you all for this week have a lovely lovely week